What's up guys, E46M3 track build. Today's episode, I'm gonna focus on cooling. CSF radiator, Mishimoto fan kit, and CSF oil cooler. So we're gonna be replacing the mechanical clutch fan with an electric fan. Replace the OEM radiator with the CSF radiator, and then replace the OEM oil cooler. You don't have to remove your bumper, but I did because I'm working on something else. To make some room, we're going to remove the air box, pop off this ram air, and then get to the fan and shrouding. Pop off the rivets to the ram air. There's a 10 millimeter here. There's one underneath this cover. Um, you don't have to take off the math, but you can loosen this and then just move the box out of the way. So make sure your engine is cool when you're going to work on the radiator. So we just open this up. So we're gonna pop up this clip, pop up this clip, remove this plastic clip, pop off this sensor, and then try to get to the fan. Put a bucket underneath the car just in case to catch the, some of the fluid. Pop on this clip. Sorry to take off the spin. Then we're gonna have to use a mini screwdriver to get to that before we can wiggle off this hose and take off the shrouding. If you don't have a small screwdriver, you can put a bit onto the socket like this. And we're going to get to this clamp. Fluid straining into the bucket. Let's remove this connector. We're going to pop off this connector. And we're going to try to get to this shrouding. Undo this fan shroud with a T25 Torx bit. So take off the sensor, you probably want to replace it too because the gasket can go bad. And then we're going to remove the lower radiator hose. So we can get to the bottom Torx and remove this shroud with the fan at the same time. Clutch fan is out of the way. Now we're going to go underneath the car, loosen the oil cooler so we can get to the radiator. OEM oil cooler loose and dangling. And I'm going to focus on the radiator first and then change out the oil cooler. Here's the old radiator. Here's the new one. CSF radiator is in. Mishimoto fan kit is in as well. And I'm going to wire it up later. Oil cooler should be pretty straightforward. Remove the one bolt there, Torx T40. And then basically install it on this, this side. What's nice about going with the CSF oil cooler and the CSF radiator is that you look here for the radiator, it hooks in and bolts up to that. Comparison of the two, look how tiny the OEM one is compared to the CSF one. The oil cooler's in. Now we just have to wire up the Mishimoto fan kit. So I put everything back together. Wired up the Mishimoto electric fan. You can go to their YouTube page to see a DIY how to do it. So this episode is pretty much done. Mishimoto electric fan, CSF radiator, CSF oil cooler. I already added the uh, radiator fluid. Running water, two bottles of Redline water wetter and distilled water. And you can see the oil cooler there. Now when I had everything off, I actually installed the Beamer World silicone intake arm and a BMC drop in filter. Thanks for watching. I have some more episodes coming your way where I'm going to address the row cage as well as coilovers and brakes.